Hello my friends, Katie here with Eastwick's Paper and Ink and today I am back for the envelope I promised to go with this uh, Orient theme teapot card that I made for the hashtag Team Tiny Tea Time uh, video hop that we do each month. And the cardstock that I'm using is a 12 by 12 piece of Home Again. Um, the name escapes me. There's a paper pack for it. I'll link it up down below. Um, we're going to do a little embossing. We're going to use, so we're going to use some Gina K embossing powder or uh, watermark ink. And we're going to use some gilded embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. We're going to use our 123 punch board to make the envelope out of that 12 by 12 cardstock. And I'm going to use that Please Deliver from the Perfectly Penned Stamp Set from Concord and Ninth. So to get started, I'm going to show you the dimensions. We're going to make a, uh, the, I, I've measured the card to be about a five by six. So we're going to use that one there on the bottom. So five by six. So we need a nine inch squared um, piece of cardstock. So you got to use a 12 by 12 um, or a nine by 12. Um, and we're going to start our scoring at four and an eighth. And I like to use the tool that comes with this punch board because it just makes it a lot easier, the scoring tool. So I'm just going to go through and start scoring this up. Um, it's really simple. You're just going to line these up and, um, and do your punches and turn it around, line up, you know, line it up each time and make your punches. So a lot of videos out there on how to use the punch board to create envelopes. Um, if you need more information, I can make a video on that too, but there are other people who have done it. So I wanted to get this out sooner. Um, you know, Team Tiny, we did that video a couple weeks ago, but you know, we've, I've had some life things happen. My son uh, graduated high school and uh, he moved cross country and so there was a lot of stuff that we had to get taken care of um, before that happened. So it just kind of got away from me. But it actually works out because I think I might create a series of uh, Mail Art Monday. And today's Monday. So it's going to be late today getting it out. But, um, but I thought I would try to create a simple series of Mail Art on Mondays for stampers and this could not be easier. So here we've made our, our envelope from the punch board. And if you remember from my previous video, if you haven't seen it, I will link it up below or up in the cards here. And I'm just gonna take that teapot that I, the second teapot that I made or the first one, I actually made the black one first. And I thought that I would repurpose it onto the outside of the envelope. Now. You will be able to mail this. You don't have to have this as a hand delivered. Uh, we're going to glue this sucker down pretty darn good. You will have to pay extra postage because it won't be machinable, but that's no big deal. Um, honestly, I use I have a stamps.com account, so I print my stamps at home, and um, I usually pay like a dollar twenty six, which seems excessive, but you know stamp prices are ridiculous. So I actually get a little bit of a discount. So um, throwing a little plug for stamps.com because you actually get some pretty good rates and they actually picked up UPS now. So um, you can print all kinds of stuff in, of postage at home. But at any rate, so I'm gonna use that G2 or yeah, the G2 uh, number 707 um, from Pilot the gold pen and I'm tracing around one because it's going to give me a place to make sure that when I glue this and I put the glue on that I have in the exact spot that I want it to go back on to and two it gives a nice decorative little border it's thin it's you know probably a little bit harder to see on on camera because it's you know right up against and this isn't you know a super thick bold line as I click it away in there um, but it really does give some nice dimension, um, you know, to the outline to outline the teapot. 
and I tilted it on an angle because I wanted it to look like, you know, we're pouring her address. It's going to my mother-in-law. Uh, she turns 84 at the end of this month. So, um, and we're both avid tea drinkers. And so I just thought this was, would be really cute to send her in the mail. So you won't see her full address. I'll start to write it on screen here in a few minutes, but you won't see her full address. So you could do this with any stamp, any shape. I'm using the teapot. It really didn't, you know, I had, obviously I had this teapot element together. Um, so it really didn't take, you know, me a long time to put this together. But, and you can see even the outline's pretty cool. If you wanted to just do that and you could stamp inside it, if you didn't have, you know, a stamp to the, you know, this, this cutout like I have. So you can do all kinds of things and, you know, to decorate your envelopes, it doesn't have to be, you know, this major complicated thing. And I'm no artist people. So, you know, if I can do it, so can you. So I just use a little bit of repositionable adhesive to tack down that other end of the envelope. Um, so that I could stamp and I'm going to stamp this up a couple of times um, to make sure I get a good impression and uh, use my anti-static powder tool. I, I don't know about you guys, but it is ridiculously hot where I am. And I, when I get like hot, I get oily. And so you can see all my fingerprints on this cardstock. So the powder tool works, my friend, it works. So here I'm gonna go through and I'm going to glue up this with my art glitter glue. So this will, have no problem staying down and not lifting up and I add quite a bit to it I make sure I get to the edges I'm not con too concerned if it seeps out the sides because it's going to dry clear so it's no big deal but you're gonna see here in a second that I make a mistake and that corn the, the envelope is you know I'm gonna fold it and you can see that I put all that glue on there so I just took sand racer just to scuff it up a little bit and get some of that excess glue off and then I'm going to take, let me see if I can find it on my desk here. Um, it's a paint pen. I'll just throw stuff about on here. I'll show it to you on the screen here in a second. But I go ahead and I trim that away. And that's not going to go to waste. Uh, here it is. Um, because we're going to uh, cover that this gold. So I put the gold. So this is, I got this at Walmart, this paint pen. It's called Painters and it's an opaque paint marker and this one's an ultra fine so i really i what i ended up doing was if you hold it down you know you can hear it um to shake it that if you push the tip down the nib down then it's going to leak out a bunch of that paint and so then i just took a fine paintbrush and i did most of it off camera and then i come in here at the end uh just to fill everything in i go ahead and i let that dry and i'm going to put the envelope together start filling out the front of it a little bit as that's drying. And, and then I'm gonna take the pieces that I cut and I'm gonna glue those on to that. I filled in with, I, I didn't need to fill in with the gold, but I wanted to in case, um, you know, you could see any of the edge if everything didn't line up at, when I glued it down. Um, and there I'm just showing you the paint pen. I picked that up at Walmart, it was only a dollar or two. One not expensive. And um, you can see that the, it, you know, went through, cause I, I want to, this sucker stinks. It's a permanent streak free pen. Um, so definitely well ventilated area, but um, that will dry. It, it's no big deal, that moisture that you saw on the other side. So don't, don't be concerned with that. And so here you can see, I'm starting to fill out my mother-in-law's address. Um, it's weird because we both have the same exact name and we spell it exactly the same. And so uh, I wanted to show you that I'm not addressing the envelope to myself, uh, for those of you that know what my address is. Um, so here I'm just, uh, you know, reinforcing the crease and um, I'm gonna put my tape and everything on because you can see I have that whole backside of the teapot is exposed. So I can put everything together and then go back through and glue down those um, pieces that I trimmed off. And I just used some eighth of an inch score tape to, to adhere that down. That way I know that the uh, envelope uh, will stay together. And uh, I usually use, you know, I talked about 
um, a little bit extra postage. I actually, for most of my cards that I send out, um, put a wax seal on the back of it. And so I'm always going to pay extra postage regardless. Um, and unless I have to get it out quick and then I don't put a wax seal on it because usually it takes a couple of weeks, um, at least for my post office to get it, get it out to where it's got to go. Um, but there's the envelope guys. And uh, you can see here, I'm going to start uh, attaching the rest of the teapot to the back of the envelope. I just want to take a second while this is going on to thank all my new subscribers, thank all my current subscribers. I really appreciate you guys commenting, liking, sharing. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would. Um, we've got some exciting things happening um, coming up for the rest of the month of June and July. Um, there's all kinds of hops that I'm going to be participating in and collaborations with um, some crafty friends. So please, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, um, and select all notifications. That way you'll be notified uh, when a new video uploads. But that's going to finish it up for me today, guys. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you in the next video.